The business plans you're preparing for this class need to be based on solid, fact-driven science. This video will show you three approaches for finding scientific articles that will be relevant to your assignments. Probably one of the first places you'll want to go is Wikipedia. Wikipedia articles can be great. They're generally well written, they're up to date, they cover lots of topics, and they can have some great images. As you probably know, Wikipedia is written collaboratively by thousands of anonymous volunteers. This is both good and bad. Crowdsource editing by a diverse community eventually produces remarkably accurate and well-balanced articles, but they're generally not in much depth. Because Wikipedia articles are continually being written and updated, articles may appear within minutes of major events. Keep in mind that the older articles are more comprehensive and balanced than newer ones, which are more likely to contain misinformation. And because the articles are unstable over time, what you read in Wikipedia today may not be there tomorrow. The citations are critical to evaluating the validity of a Wikipedia article. And, because these articles are collaboratively written, there's no systematic oversight of Wikipedia articles, and therefore there's no guarantee that they're accurate. So, you can't use Wikipedia as a primary source of factual information, nor can you directly cite Wikipedia articles. But you should certainly use Wikipedia to begin your explorations of a topic. Scientific journal articles are fundamentally different from Wikipedia articles because they have been formally read, evaluated, and critiqued by two or more experts who can vouch for the validity of the results. Peer reviewers of journal articles determine if the experiments were done properly, whether the conclusions are valid, and whether the authors appropriately cited the works of others. An important feature of journal articles is that they're the first disclosure of a scientific finding. Therefore, when a scientist publishes an article, they're considered the discoverer of that information and can lay claim to its intellectual property. Journals are published on a regular basis, and there's millions of articles published every year. Some journals, such as Science or Nature, are very broad in scope and include articles on topics from astrophysics to natural ecology. Other journals can be quite specialized, like the Journal of Blood Cancer or the Journal of British Dragonflies. For centuries, scientific journals have been housed in university libraries, much like you find in the stacks at Shields Library. Today, many journals are online and are made available to UC students through the California Digital Library. There's a special type of journal article that you'll find particularly useful for the projects in this class, and that's a review article. Unlike a journal article, a review article doesn't disclose original research, but rather summarizes work that's already been published. A good review article will give up-to-date summaries of several studies and can be more useful to you than primary research articles. At the end of all scientific articles, you'll see a reference list that gives the necessary information for finding the original sources of background information that's discussed in the article. This allows you, the reader, to follow up on interesting topics for more details. Citations are the key words which are embedded in papers that tell the reader which references are applicable to the specific part of the paper. The use of citations acknowledges and gives credit to the originators of an idea, and it's a critical element in scientific writing. Large review article or graduate theses can have hundreds of references. Fortunately, there's free software that works well for organizing references and for formatting the citations. EndNote is one such reference manager that's available to UCD students through a campus-wide license. References can be downloaded from the internet into EndNote, which will then format the bibliography into the desired format and then put it into Word documents. You'll need to download your own copy of EndNote, and you can do that at the UC Davis Library. In addition to the link for downloading EndNote and the instructions, there's also a range of videos which will teach you how to use EndNote. I'm going to let you explore these videos on your own so you learn to use EndNote for this assignment. So, how do you find references to put into EndNote? Well, I'll show you a few strategies. One of the most powerful is a commercial database licensed by UCD for students and staff. It says, go to the UCD library, then catalogs, then database, then find Web of Sciences. Web of Sciences is a composite database that includes journal articles, patents, conferences, and PubMed. You can search by topic, title, author, etc. 
You can use wildcards to expand your search. Let's try a search on induced pluripotent stem cells, which are a new type of stem cell. You can see there's about 6,000 references about induced pluripotent stem cells. Scroll down till you see an article that seems relevant. Click on the abstract to see a summary of that paper. If it looks interesting, then click on the full paper for the details. You can automatically put the citation into your EndNote database. Then click on the download. EndNote should open and put in your reference automatically. Here's the formatted reference shown here. <clears throat> you can change a format as requested by either the journal or the assignment by going up here and scrolling down and using the site reference format that's requested. Now let's go back to the web of science. You can refine the search by adding more search terms. Let's try monkeys. So now we got 51 journals which talk about monkeys in STEM. Another refinement is about we type. In particular, we go for the review articles. So now we've found nine review articles that talk about induced pluripotent stem cells in monkeys. Another good feature is this link, this the word cited. These are all the articles that have been written after the original article, but who's referenced this article. This is a great way to expand your searches once you've found a relevant article. So that's the Web of Science database. Now let's look at a public database that does not require a subscription, PubMed. Database is sponsored by the National Institute of Health and can be accessed through the National Center Biotech Information website. Let's search for induced stem cells and we see again a list of references you can modify it further as before you can get access to the full article PubMed also has filters to look for review articles and once you found what you want you can send it to your reference manager as before third search engine is going to be Google Scholar You can download the full articles. You can find related articles. To download, you want to go to Cite, and then you can cut and paste directly, or you can import into your EndNote database. And that's it for this exercise.